Nice guys finish last, because these guys always win. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British movie tough guys. Your cigarette, you have to put it out. Cigarette? What? This? No, I'm not going to put it out. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking actors who've earned a lasting reputation as some of cinema's toughest, meanest, and most memorable characters. Naturally, there's some violence and bad language ahead. You have been warned. I asked you to give me a refreshing drink. Wasn't expecting a f***ing rainforest. Number 10, Danny Dyer. Do you understand you could be Cardiff's answer to Travis Bickle on a timer waiting to explode? From hard-hitting TV documentaries to soap opera stardom, this bloke's built a career on his tough guy image. After a 1999 breakthrough role as Moff in Human Traffic, Danny Dyer's famous parts include Tommy Johnson in A Football Factory and Frankie in The Business. He carries a cockney swagger in almost everything he does, but this chappie's just too cheeky to feature higher on the list. Still, if you've never seen his hard man acting class with Keith Lemon, then take note. Okay, this is the scene. Um, we're going to be planning a bank job. Right, okay. Um, I'm a bit worried about it. I'm well, wet the old collars up for a start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number nine, Gerard Butler. The hell they make you out of? Bourbon and poor choices. While he has flirted with romantic leads, comedy roles, and family films, Gerard Butler's bread and butter is as an all-action, gun-toting, big and burly bruiser. And most of that rep comes from a career-making turn as the bearded and heroic King Leonidas in 300. This is Sparta! Butler's also a go-to guy for any character that's tough on the outside, but kinda hard, and anyone with a faintly flawed personality. Perhaps it's his strong physique. Maybe it's the gravelly accent. But if there's fighting to be had, then Gerard your man. Number 8, Daniel Craig. Movie characters don't come much tougher than James Bond, and Daniel Craig brings unrivaled grittiness to the 007 role. Ever since his debut in Casino Royale, he's caught a mean and measured super spy, even though he's scared of guns in real life. I won't miss next time, Mr. Silver. Pre-Bond, Craig's parts were pretty diverse, and the actor is a versatile performer, but roles in movies like Layer Cake, Munich, and The Trench further prove that he's not someone to be messed with. Don't take this personally. It's business. Number 7, Alan Ford. I think your dad would like a word with you, Ed. An older gentleman than most on this list, Alan Ford leads where others follow. A Londoner who narrated and featured in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, his definitive role came in another Guy Ritchie flick, as Bricktop in Snatch. Do you know what Nemesis means? Tough but funny, Ford can also be seen in Cockneys vs Zombies, where he plays a foul-mouthed, no-nonsense granddad who quickly loses his patience with The Walking Dead. All right, well, how about it? Why don't we go out there and face them? Go down fighting. What do you think? Number six, Mark Strong. Bobby, what are you doing? I'm showing some respect for the dead. There you go, mate. An actor who usually lives up to his name, Mark Strong has the comedy hard man role down to a T. Whether he's alongside Sasha Baron Cohen in Grimsby or Taron Egerton in Kingsman, he's a scene stealer and then some. Yeah, you can all wipe those smirks off your faces. Because as far as I'm concerned, every single one of you has failed. But Strong can shine in serious films too, with parts in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and The Imitation Game proving just how good he is. And don't forget his villainous turn in Guy Ritchie's first Sherlock Holmes adaptation. He ran rings around Holmes and Watson for most of that. Death is only the beginning. Number 5, Vinnie Jones. It's funny, but when you're in that football world, you just don't realise what it means to people. Formerly a Wimbledon, Leeds United and Chelsea footballer, with a reputation for ruthlessness on the pitch, Jones took to the silver screen once his playing career had come to an end, and his hard man image carried across to his new venture, with a debut gig as Big Chris in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Got some bad news for you, John. What the f <laughs> Then came another angry role as the incarcerated footballer Danny Meehan in Mean Machine, before Jones scooped a surprise spot on the cast list for X-Men The Last Stand. He played Juggernaut, an all-out villain with superhuman strength. Don't you know who I am? Number 4, Tom Hardy. 
God, that is yours! He's one of Britain's most exciting performers with an ever-expanding acting range. Roles in Warrior, Mad Max and The Revenant all required a gutsy turn for one reason or another, and Tom's a dap hand when it comes to British gangsters, having starred as both the craze in 2015's Legend. You know, too many things about us. Right, Albie, do you know things about us, mate? Hardy's admitted that he likes to play the villain, so he must have loved being Bane for The Dark Knight Rises. But the toughest of all his tough guy roles has to have come in Bronson, where he plays the notorious title character. <laughs> Number 3. Ray Winston Take that down the estate, yeah. Let's forget those betting adverts for a bit, because there's way more to Ray than just some in-play action. Winston's filmography is full of intimidating characters, often linked in some way to London's criminal underworld. The actor was an amateur boxer before his career on film, and he puts those fighting instincts to good use in most of his movies. There's Nil by Mouth, 44 Inch Chest and The Departed, plus a breakout role in Scum and the title role in Beowulf. Take your pick, son. Mine is strength and lust and power. I am Beowulf! Number 2. Michael Caine You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off! Our runner-up's an undisputed icon and one of the most impersonated actors of all time. My name is Michael Payne. I'm a nosy neighbour. Michael Caine was good mates with John Wayne back in the day, and his rough and ready reputation more than matches the Western star. Modern audiences likely know Caine for his work in Kingsman and the Dark Knight trilogy, but the Londoner's custom brand of on-screen aggression was born out of classic films like The Italian Job and Get Carter. Jack. <laughs> You shouldn't have shown the film to Frank. I have to. Number one, Jason Statham. Come on, man. You crazy? You know I wouldn't do that to you, man. I am crazy. Where's Kylo? Uh, uh. Okay, ding. Time's up. With an instantly recognizable and intimidating accent to rival anyone else's, even Michael Caine's, Jason Statham talks the talk, walks the walk, and batters anyone who gets in his way. A one-time international standard diver, this actor's more athletic than most, which gives his characters a chaotic extra edge. But when all's said and done, Statham's toughness incarnate. He does all his own stunts, often at great risk, and pulls it off with unrivaled style. You wanted a monster. Well, you've got one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.